Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and welcome back to another mental health episode on coping skills. In this video today, I'll be talking about the tip skill. So what is the tip skill? The tip skill is a part of the therapy DBT, Dialectical Behavior Therapy. This skill is here to help change your body temperature and to help strong distressing emotions. So what does TIP actually stand for? Well, to start out, the T stands for changing the temperature. The I is for intense exercise, and the P is pace breathing and also paired muscle relaxation. So the coping skills in the TIP skill can help with a variety of strong emotions, ranging from anxiety to depression to anger to any other emotion. So how I personally learned this skill is you pick one of the acronyms, so the T or the I or the P, to help with your current emotion. But I've also heard others use all the tip skills to help regulate the emotion at the time. Okay, so let's get into it. So let's start with the T and tip. So changing your temperature. What the heck does that mean? Don't worry. The skill doesn't involve any like baking or glass blowing or anything, even though that's hella cool. But it's actually changing the temperature of your face. So basically what you're to do is to get a cold water, a, a bowl of cold water or like a Ziploc bag of cold water and put it on your face. So I've heard people also use rags with cold water and it's like hella soaked, but some people argue that it's not as helpful. So I just wanted to put that out there. So after you have your water, you are to put it onto your face and hold your breath for maybe around 30 seconds. This is implementing the dive response. It helps slow your heart down, which has blood flow to non-essential organs reduced, and blood flow is reduced to the brain and heart. In conclusion, the, the T in the tip skill is here to help calm you down. So now let's get on to the I. The I, again, stands for intense exercise. We all love exercise here, right? Right? So this is here to help calm your body down when you're high on emotion. So for example, are you feeling really high intense anger? Well, tr time to run a marathon! So how does this help? Well, it helps expend the, your body's stored up physical energy. Now finally, the P and tip. So technically, there is one P, but it's actually two P's, but it's actually like one, but it's also like two, but it's also like one. But it's like to... Anyway, the first P is pace breathing. So, pace breathing is just as it sounds. It's, you're pacing your breathing. There's so many different ways to breathe, and I actually have a video on it if you want to check it out. It'll pop up here if I did this right. But one good example I will suggest is doing the 4-4-4 breathing. It's where you inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four counts, and hold for four and repeat. There's many different ways to breathe as well. You can ha be guided by a meditation or with another person, or you can do it by yourself as well. So the next P, that's only technically one P, but I'm not getting into that again. But So the next P is paired muscle relaxation, as I said in the beginning. So paired muscle relaxation uh, goes hand in hand with the paced breathing. So it's actually really cool. Uh, when I first learned this exercise, I was honestly so mind blown. So the whole point of this is to tense your muscles and then hold it for like three seconds or so, then release. And you're supposed to notice that feeling and feeling that all that tension go. And doing the pace breathing while doing that. I personally like doing a guided meditation along that. And you can start from like your toes to your head, or you can just do a whole body scrunch. Body scrunch. <laughs> I don't know, that kind of sounds cool. That sounds like a cool like a uh, exercise thing. Okay, you guys, now it's time to do the body scrunch. <sighs> it's probably a thing, and I just don't know it. <laughs> so basically the whole point of the paired muscle relaxation is to just notice how you're feeling in the moment. The reason why I was so mind blown with this coping skill is when I first did it, I didn't realize how tensed I felt and for once, I actually felt relaxed and it was wild. I still couldn't believe how great I feel. Yeah, so the paramuscle relaxation is, is a coping skill I tend to go back to quite often. It can also help for sleep 
And so that was the tip skill. I hope I was able to help you out and I hope this can be beneficial to you. If you enjoyed this video, why not go hit the tip of the like button and the subscribe button. It really helps my channel out. I hope you all have a great and safe day. Take care everyone. Bye.